Coming this January is an inspiring new podcast brought to you by the International Tennis Hall of Fame that'll bring you conversations with Hall of Famers and tennis legends that go beyond their on-court results. Instead of feeling sorry for myself next day, the guy said, hey, 10 o'clock, we're practicing, come and join us. You just go and keep doing what you're enjoying instead of pouting. 84% of the time you're playing tennis, you're not playing a point, right? So what percentage of the tennis is mental? 84%. What makes a Hall of Famer? What is that unique something that led to their historic success? Was it innate, or did they need to cultivate a winning mindset? My whole thing was, okay, he's younger than me, I'm not losing. I don't care if he's ranked two or three or I'm one. It was always like, okay, he's younger than me, I can't lose to this guy. Never giving up, believing in myself, and always giving 100%. I can look back at my career and say that I don't have any regrets. We'll talk about on-court triumphs and the obstacles and challenges each Hall of Famer and legend faced, and how despite those challenges, they rose to the top and set themselves amongst an elite group. That never-say-die attitude won me so many matches that I probably wouldn't have won. Put yourself in that same situation. You're all in the same boat, but this one player gets that extra attention. That will light the fire in your belly. Tennis Worthy, brought to you by the International Tennis Hall of Fame.